A cordial greeting. Today is Wednesday, September 3, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In this video, I will be giving an update on the tropical wave we are monitoring that is located near the Cape Verde Islands, which maintains a high probability of cyclonic development during the next seven days as it moves west and west-northwest. Meanwhile, we continue to closely monitor what is already Hurricane Lorena, which is heading toward sectors of Baja California Sur and Sonora. Later this morning, I will be recording another video to update the forecast for this tropical cyclone. Now let's zoom into the tropical Atlantic, where the tropical wave we are monitoring is located with the possibility of developing into Tropical Storm Gabrielle. According to satellite animation, we can see that the tropical wave remains quite disorganized, and it will not be until Thursday or Friday when we begin to see the development of a low-pressure system. Meanwhile, in the latest tropical outlook from the National Hurricane Center at 2 a.m., probabilities remain at 70% for development during the next 7 days and 30% for development during the next 48 hours. In addition, note that there is still a very broad area of possible development of this tropical cyclone, which suggests that there continues to be a lot of uncertainty regarding its future track and intensity. And this uncertainty in the forecast is completely normal for systems that are in the process of development. Also note that it takes approximately 7 days to reach longitude 60 degrees west, so it is about 8 to 9 days away from its closest point to the Northeast Caribbean. This forecast will largely depend on two very important factors. First, we are already beginning to see the development of a trough located to the north-northwest of the tropical wave. This trough will be amplifying as it moves westward over the coming days, and also represented by these red colors, we have quite a bit of dry air located north of the tropical Atlantic area. And I mention these two factors because, for example, as the trough moves through this area, it may impart strong wind shear across the tropical Atlantic. And that wind shear, combined with this dry air, may interfere with the tropical wave and the future tropical storm Gabrielle. So once again, we find ourselves with two scenarios. The first, a system that manages to strengthen more quickly and shield itself from the dry air could take a more northwesterly track and eventually pass far from the Northeast Caribbean while if it takes longer to organize or is affected by wind shear and dry air, it would likely take a more southerly track, and perhaps eventually reach the eastern Caribbean. At least for now, the models continue to be very insistent that in about five days we will have a lot of wind shear across the northern tropical Atlantic. So if the future tropical storm Gabrielle heads into this area, it will probably be facing strong wind shear. In fact, some models like the American model are already beginning to respond to this scenario. For example, here we have this morning's run. The model continues to be quite aggressive in developing a tropical depression within about 36 to 48 hours. But note that over the weekend, a lot of dry air represented by brown colors enters the circulation of the future tropical storm Gabrielle, and this causes the system to remain quite weak, as a tropical storm or tropical depression. And in fact, by the middle of next week, wind shear and dry air manage to weaken it significantly, keeping its track very far from the Caribbean region. And although the latest run of the American model shows a very weak system, it still deflects before reaching the Caribbean in response to a trough system that may be weakening the Atlantic high pressure. Meanwhile, on the other hand, we have the European model projection. In this case, the model takes longer to develop a tropical depression between Friday and Saturday. It has the system developing at a fairly low latitude. But look at all this dry air located west of the circulation, which eventually begins to interfere with its development. And although the European model shows a strong tropical storm approaching the eastern Caribbean by the middle of next week, in the latest run it shows wind shear and dry air that could cause it to weaken significantly as it moves over the Northeast Caribbean. In this case, the European model has a weak tropical depression or tropical storm affecting the northern Leeward Islands and Puerto Rico in about 8 to 9 days. And adding to the uncertainty, the German model continues to project a fairly significant strengthening of the future tropical storm Gabrielle. In the midnight run, it continues to forecast that it could strengthen into a hurricane and gain latitude without approaching the Caribbean. On the other hand, the UK model shows a fairly weak system with a more westward track. It now shows a weak tropical depression or tropical storm approaching the northern Leeward Islands in about seven days. And very interestingly, the European artificial intelligence model has been very insistent on keeping the system weak because dry air could limit its development. In last night's run, it has a tropical depression or strong tropical wave crossing over the Leeward Islands in about seven days. So we can see that there is a lot of uncertainty just as is normal for systems that are developing. Also, it is very far from the Caribbean region, and many changes can occur in the coming days. The key for its future track will be how quickly it manages to organize and how it is affected by dry air and wind shear. In general, the first scenario is that if it remains weaker, like a weak tropical storm or tropical depression, 
it could reach the eastern Caribbean, while if it manages to strengthen quickly into a moderate, strong tropical storm, or hurricane, it would likely take a track toward the northeast Caribbean. We can see these scenarios in the ensemble members of the American model, which shows a wide spread of solutions, some tracks extremely far from the Caribbean region and others moving a bit more westward, approaching the northern leeward islands. Meanwhile, the European model members that develop a hurricane take a track toward the northwest, moving away from the Caribbean, while those that have a weaker system keep it on a track toward sectors of the northern leeward islands, perhaps as a tropical depression or tropical storm. The artificial intelligence model maintains that more westward track with a weaker system, which if it remains a tropical depression or weak tropical storm could eventually approach the Northeast Caribbean. Well, here at Hurricane Info we will continue to monitor the evolution of the tropical wave. For the moment, there is no reason to worry in the Eastern Caribbean because the system is very far away, and we have different scenarios, and at the moment we cannot have a reliable forecast. We will probably have to wait until the weekend to see how the projections change. And before I go, I want to invite you to give a like to this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you receive notifications when I upload new videos. I hope you all have an excellent day.